Hello everybody and welcome back to the series I'm doing on FIFA 15 career mode and this is now episode 6 so thank you very much for all the support I've received on the series so far and um, just before we get started I just wanted to say a massive thank you for 200 subscribers it really does mean a lot to me but uh, yeah so get into the episode as you can see we got the first game against Rochdale here but what I'm doing first of all I'm looking at the my scout and some of the players that he has brought back to me so looking at them now I'm not going to sign any of them right now I'll just continue scouting them because in the first month you don't really get much of an understanding as to you know the players and how good they really are so heading into the first game against Rochdale I'm just going to pick the team here and what I decided to do for this match I thought I decided to go for a 4-4-2 formation put Beckford and Garner up front because we really in the past episodes we really have been struggling to score goals and as you can see I still got Stuckman in that but we really have been struggling to score goals so I'm, I'm trying to get this partnership between Garner and Beckford just working and tr I'm trying to get them both firing on all cylinders but straight from the off we were at them in this game I mean Callum Woods gets the ball here plays into Alan Brown who had a very good game today gets into Chris Humphrey Humphrey plays into the ball to Garner who just can't get any power behind his head there just a bit of a tame header really can't get anything behind it but Garner does get another chance here Beckford driving into the box does very well lays it into Joe Garner and Garner just can't do anything with it it's just another bit of a tame shot really and that seems to be the story with these two we're getting into good positions we just can't finish the chances we get another chance here Kilkenny playing out to Humphrey Humphrey who's as you see he's creating a lot of chances for these strikers gets it into Beckford but what a save this keeper in this episode here the Rochdale keeper played an absolute blinder he just dives back into the goal to tip it over the bar on any other day that would normally be a goal but today it just wasn't the case and at half time what I decided to do I decided to bring on Jack King into the midfield and bring on Bailey Wright just because we were lacking a bit of strength really in the midfield so and it really did help as you can see here uh, Led has the ball on the left, whips it into Beckford again, who just can't find the back of the net. Really disappointing. It's another chance, but as you can see, the header, that time it had power, but it didn't have the accuracy that the shots were getting before. But we kept pressing Rochdale, we kept going, and it's a bit disheartening, really, when you, you're creating so many chances, but this is exactly what I brought Jack King on to do right here. He makes a tackle here. One tackle there, and then straight after he makes another tackle and just goes on a run. That's exactly what Jack King brings to the team, and I'm not actually giving him much of a chance this season, but he gets into a really good opportunity there, but the goalkeeper makes another good save, so I might have to look into maybe starting Jack King now once in a while. And then we get another chance here with Paul Gallagher. Uh, Chris Humphreys running down the right wing. Uh, we plays it in, and look at that ball from Jack King to Gallagher. Absolutely fantastic. Gallagher cuts inside, but just can't steer it into the back of the net. It was so frustrating as we were creating so many chances. Then we get another chance here. Jack King gets another opportunity, but the keeper makes another good save. We just couldn't we just couldn't get past him in this episode. He was I don't actually know who the Rochdale keeper is, but he was having an absolute blinder. Look at that save there. Fantastic. That was heading into the top corner then. But what I decided to do here is I decided to make some more changes because it just wasn't working. I decided to bring on Davis and I also decided to bring on McAllister as well into the midfield looking uh, so we could maybe bring something into this. And McAllister gets a good chance there, but he can't get it in. The keeper makes another save. It was a good ball in from Gallagher from the corner, but the goalkeeper diving back on himself makes another good save. And it was just so frustrating that we couldn't get the goal here. Then we get another chance here. Gallagher whips it into Garner and the keeper just catches the ball. It was just so easy for him. And that was the final opportunity that we got in that match. After that, we just couldn't seem to find anything else. And then the full-time whistle went. I don't even think Rochdale had one shot in that match. We had about 20. So it was, it was just such a shame that we couldn't seem to find the back of the net. So definitely two points dropped there. But going into the second match of the episode, we were playing MK Dons. And in this match, we were definitely looking... For the three points. But MK Dons are definitely a team that's going to be up there this season. But for this game I decided to go for a 3-5-2 formation. Just be just because I thought we needed quite a lot of attacking options for this match. As you can see I played Garner and Little up front. But I thought we needed a lot of attacking options for this match. Just because in the last game we just couldn't finish our chances. We were creating them fine. 
but we just couldn't finish them. So it, it was a bit risky going to a big club like MK Dons playing three at the back, but I thought I needed to risk it because we just need to start getting these goals. And I might even have to start looking at a free agent, but we get our first chance here in the 30th minute. Garner's played in. Garner, bit of trickery, steps in and out, in and out, and then gets a shot away, but the goalkeeper makes a good save. Wasn't the best shot in the end. It was quite high, and it was easy. It was quite a comfortable save for the keeper, if you'll see it here. He really should be putting them in the bottom corner, but nevertheless, it was a good save. And apart from that, in the first half, nothing really happened. So going into the second half, I decided to go to a 4-5-1 formation, and I decided to bring on Brown and Brownhill in the middle, just playing in behind, just playing in front of McAllister and behind Garner, just so we could have a bit of energy in the midfield, because that's what we really desperately were lacking in this game, which is why we couldn't even create the chances. In in this game, never mind finish them, but Humphrey, who's play, been playing very well for me lately, gets a good ball into Joe Garner, who just can't direct his header onto goal, really disappointing there, Garner, he's not had the best of games in the last two, or three even, actually he did score two in the last game against Scunthorpe, but we, they get a good chance here, makes a good block, and then they just fire it over the bar, Torsten Stuckman not needing to make a save there, but they are showing that they are, you know, promotion contenders, and, and that they can go forward, as you can see, Ball just going over the top there, unlucky, but it was just so annoying this game. It was just such a frustrating game. Brownhill does some good work here, links up with Brown. Brown plays in Brownhill and he just puts it wide. Really disappointing not to be hitting the target from there, but Brown and Brownhill definitely made an impact on this game. They definitely brought their energy to the table and we were creating more chances in the second half because of them. Cal Reed, who I also brought on, does very well here. Gets a nice ball into Beckford, but the goalkeeper makes an easy save and it just wasn't going for us today, guys. Today just wasn't our day and the score... It remained nil nil, so that's two nil nils in the same episode, which is really disappointing. We're having a bit of a goal drought at the moment, which is not what we need at the moment, but I can always look into bringing in some more players. So that is the table at the end of this episode, guys. I'm sorry there's been no goals, but it's just not been our day today. But as you can see, we haven't actually slipped up too bad. We still remain in third place, which is very good indeed. As you can see, Yeovil and Bristol City just ahead of us, and Bristol City have started out the season very well. So have you oval but um yeah we're still yet to lose so it's not too bad indeed and but as you can see there we just not scored enough goals we've only scored six whilst yeovil have got 12 so that will wrap it up for this episode guys thank you very much for watching make sure you leave a like and i'll see you all in the next one